So many of you have asked me to do a video on the Photos app, and I've been reluctant to film anything because for me, the Photos app is a mess, and figuring it out is such a chore. There's stuff all over the place, and I'm not sure where to look for what. So like I do with so many other things on my iPhone, I pared down the Photos app to the bare necessities, and then I began adding back what worked for me. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did that. Hi, my name is Rich. If you're anything like me, when you downloaded iOS 18 onto your iPhone and then opened the Photos app, your head started spinning. I've got thousands of photos and videos and screenshots and such in my photo library, and my problem has always been finding what I'm looking for. I mean, that's the big problem for most people, I would think. Anyway, I spent a few days trying to figure everything out, thinking I'd make a quick video to help the folks who tune into this channel. But honestly, I hit a roadblock. I finally dug back in, and here we are. But let me say up front, this video will not cover all the aspects and functionality of the Photos app. That would take a two-hour movie. But it is designed to help you not only get a handle on using the Photos app, but actually dig up a gem or two that I suspect you'll find very helpful. So in today's video, I'll show you a simple navigation trick, one that you would not know because there's no way of knowing it unless somebody told it to you. How to customize and reorder what shows up when you open the Photos app, and that's the real power here the hidden power of using utilities, quick access to media types, and lastly, having fun with memories. By the way, I've included chapter markers in the description below, which will allow you to jump around the video. You might find that helpful. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is just a simple navigation trick. I'm not sure where I even learned this. I think I saw somebody in a YouTube video do it, and it's very helpful, so let me show you. I'm gonna open the Photos app. And when you open the Photos app, you have your library of photos. And if you're like me, you're scrolling through and trying to find something and then going back and forth like this. But if you want to get to the very beginning of your photos, you can simply tap, in my case, the dynamic island. And it takes you all the way to the very beginning of all of your photos. If you want to get back to the bottom, you go back and you tap, in this case, all. It takes me all the way back down to the bottom. If I were in the months view, I could tap on the dynamic island and go to the very first month, or I could tap on months down here and go back to the very most recent uh, month. And I can click on all. Same thing with years. If you're in years, you can tap up at the top, take you to the beginning, tap on years at the bottom, and it takes you back to the most recent stuff. And that's just a simple navigation trick to get back and forth from top to bottom. Kind of handy. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is just how to customize what shows up when you open up the Photos app. So if you just, you know, open up the Photos app like this and you start scrolling through, you have all kinds of stuff in here. It's just all over the place like this. And I was thinking, I don't know if I want any of that stuff. I just want my photos and I want to find what I'm looking for. So I'm scrolling along and if you scroll all the way down to the very bottom you'll see customize and reorder and that's the secret place so tap on that and now you can uncheck all of the things that you don't want in there. So I just unchecked everything to see what would happen like that and then I closed it and I went back, and sure enough, all I had was my photos. I didn't have any of that other stuff in there down at the bottom. I just got back to it like that. And that's pretty much how I thought I would use it. And I thought, well, no, you know what? I'm going to look at a little bit more in there. So I went back in to customize and reorder. And I added back some things. I added back utilities. I added back media types and I added back memories and now when I close it out I have again all of my photos but I've also got the utility section the media types and memories so the trick here is for you to go in and to figure out what you want to add back right there and to try to pare it down to just what's important to you and that way you're not flipping through a whole bunch of stuff that you have no interest in but that's how you customize that and set it up. Pretty simple.
Okay, the next thing I want to show you is the hidden power of utilities. And you may wonder why I added utilities back. And I thought, I wonder what utilities does. So you can see that you've got some uh, categories here, recently deleted, duplicates, favorites, stuff like that. And I thought, I wonder what else is in there. So if you just tap on utilities, now all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of choices here. And I found this to be kind of handy. For example, um, I was going to put some uh, shades up at mom and dad's house and I took some measurements on a piece of paper and I took a picture of the piece of paper and then I lost the photo. I never could find it. So I went in here and I just thought, hey, that says handwriting. Well, I had done that in handwriting. So I just tapped on handwriting and sure enough, there was the measurements that I took for the windows and it just recognized that I had handwriting on a piece of paper, a scrap piece of paper. And I thought, man, that is really handy. And then I started looking at all the things in here. Where did it see handwriting? Well, I was at a restaurant and for some reason took a picture of that and that's in handwriting. And then I thought, what is this, my daughter over here? And then I realized there's handwriting on a birthday card right there. It recognized that anything that has handwriting. Here I am from years ago looking at a birthday card and there's handwriting on the birthday card. So that is a really cool little feature. Likewise, you have documents that are in here and I didn't know that. So I tapped on documents and I thought, oh my gosh, here's a bunch of stuff that I took uh, photos of. It was from when, when my daughter was in school. I did the Richard Petty driving experience down in Florida and I took a picture of the certificate and there it is. It's a document. And all of these documents live in here. So if you took pictures or if you took photos of some document somewhere, that's a quick and easy way to get to them without having to try to search for something like that because it's almost impossible to find it. Likewise, if you did something with a QR code that was kind of important to you, here's things with a QR code. And I thought, here's a picture of my daughter and son-in-law. What's the QR code? Oh, wait a minute. Right there. There's the QR code sitting on the table. And I thought, what is this? And I looked over here and I realized I was taking a photo of a vacuum cleaner and there's a QR code right on the vacuum cleaner. So it, it found those things for me. And that was what was so powerful about this utilities function. So you've got handwriting. You can also see if you've got duplicates in here and get rid of them. You can see I've got some duplicates there. And you can take care of those. You can look at documents. You can look at things that you've imported. And you can go down to map. And that's kind of interesting. So here it's found that I've taken a whole bunch of pictures over here on the East Coast. But I also was in Denver recently and it just found the photos that I took in Denver. So they just showed up there and I can do that all by looking at the map. And so that is the power of utilities and for me that's going to be something that lives in the Photos app. Next thing I want to show you is media types. And I wasn't sure whether this is something that I would want or not, but I added it in here. So I got utilities there, I've got media types here. And if you tap on media types, now you have a whole bunch of options here. You can get to portraits. So things that your camera took a picture of using portrait mode. You know, here's one of my grandson at a restaurant. And all of these things, all of these photos were taken in the, using the portrait mode on my camera. If I had any time-lapse stuff that I took and I thought, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this. This was a time-lapse at the beach from a number of years ago. And I didn't have to go searching for it. Uh, if you take screenshots, uh, these are all screenshots that I've taken using my phone. I have no idea why I took those screenshots, but I did, and they're there if I ever needed to, to look them up. If I took selfies, here are all the selfies where the camera was pointed at me. All the videos are here. If you just want to look for your videos, uh, you can get in here and just scroll through your videos. Much easier than going into the entire library like this and then trying to pick out a video somewhere in there. I mean, it's like a needle in a haystack. And being able to go into media types 
and then just click on videos or tap on videos and I see I've got 179 videos there it is that's super easy and for me that's a very functional way to get to different media types so if I know I want to watch a video that I took some time ago this is the first place I go to to find it and it's just super helpful okay the last thing I want to talk to you about is just memories you know one of the things that your iPhone can do is put together a memory or a little video for you and you can tell it the parameters and it's a really cool little feature so I added that back in if you go in here to memories you may see that it's already created some memories for you here's one from 2016 and if I tap on that I can either view it as a movie where it shows like this um, or I can just do it in photos where I just get to see all the photos that are included in that but if I go to movie I can see it as a movie and that's kind of handy and you can go through and you know it's created a number of memories for me over time uh, but you can create your own memories too so you can just tap on create and it'll give you some suggestions here so how about winter 2023 I'll just tap on that and we'll see what happens and it just creates this little uh, movie for you and by the way it adds audio to the movie I'm not playing that audio here because it's copyright music and YouTube won't allow that to play but here you can see winter 2023 of course that looks like the beach but I was at the beach in the winter um, and it just begins making these little movies for you and it's just a a really cool little feature and I, I, I absolutely love it then you can click done and now you go back and it's saved that memory now if you didn't want to save the memory if you wanted to get rid of it you can tap and hold and just tap on delete memory like that and then it'll ask you if you want to delete it I think I'm going to save that one so I'll just hit cancel so for me I have all my photos up here and then I've chosen to add utilities media types and memories but again it all comes together down here and customize and reorder and you can add them in here now the interesting thing about this is that you can grab these you see these little three lines over here you can grab that and just drag it up so if you want memories at the top and then media types and then utilities you can do that and then when you tap the little X now you have memories at the top followed by media types followed by utilities so you can not only choose what shows up but the order in which it shows up super super handy I know that was a lot to take in but I do hope these tips will get you the most out of the photos app or at least tame the photos app okay that's it for today thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video